Why, good afternoon, people. How you doing? Now, I was told that whenever there's a microphone, I seem to always find my way to it. But first, I'm going to announce our first guest. Now, this guy has said that he doesn't like being called an alternative, but it messes up my pun if I don't get a chance to say it. He's the conservative alternative for AARP, which means they were the ones that didn't get a waiver for Obamacare. I would like to introduce Dwayne Miller for the Proud Americans. Thank you so much. We are grateful to be here. My name is Dwayne Miller. I have come to talk to you about climate change. I want to thank you for standing ground and changing the climate in Washington, D.C. It's because of patriots that the climate of this country will have a chance to recover. And I'm proud to be an American. The Proud Americans was formed about a year and a half ago when a certain piece of legislation was supported by another organization who promised their members that they would not support it. But then the money was so good they couldn't afford not to support it. And at that moment in time, we said, you know what? Trust has been broken with the American public, and we want to jump in the gap and restore that trust. We've spent the last year and a half put to putting together the benefit packages so if someone joins with us, they are able to get anything they have gotten from that other nameless organization. But we are more about our message than we are about our benefits. We believe in the traditional values that made this country great. Those values being God, family, and country in that order. We believe that faith in God is fundamental to everything else that happens. And with that fundamental faith in God, when people came to this continent 400 years ago, they came with a faith. And that faith was in God and in their families. They literally built this nation on families. Today we have a gang problem. The reason we have a gang problem is because children now have rights and their parents can't violate those rights. And so they go off into gangs who set the parameters for them of what they can do and not do, which is what families used to do. Excuse me, let's get back to the traditional family, get back to the traditional values and do the way things, the way God instituted it in Genesis the last time I looked. I believe in traditional values. Our third value is in the United States. I'm sick and tired of hearing about all the things that we do wrong. I'm sick and tired of hearing that we are just another nation. I'm sick and tired of being marginalized. I don't like to bow and kiss somebody else's ring. I'm totally against that. The United States of America has blessed this planet with the best thing that ever happened to planet Earth. And there are many millions of people that have been advantaged because of us. Have we been perfect? Of course not. But do we try to correct our wrongs? Yes, we do. That's what makes us great. But ladies and gentlemen, I believe with all my soul and my passion is to turn the Titanic before it hits an iceberg. No before it hits another iceberg. It's time we got back to the things that you believe and that I believe. I am so excited and pleased that we were invited to be a part of your rally here today. We spent a year and a half getting our infrastructure done. There are two or three other organizations that are out there that do similar things to what we do. They don't have the benefit package we have. I'm not here to compete. I'm here to try to get a message delivered. We want your help. We want to make our voice strong. You know, one of the neat things that happens in Washington, if you're a member of the Tea Party and you're a member of the Proud Americans, Washington counts your vo voice twice. And if you're a member of several other organizations, every time you join one, they count your voice again. So at this point in time, with the other organizations we have strategic alliances with, the Proud Americans has something over 200 million members right now because of all the people we've aligned with. I'm just telling you, that's how they do their math. And we all understand Washington can't count. It's our job to stand our ground. Let me tell you something, get in behind the candidates that have stood their ground, get in behind those issues that matter to you, let your voice be heard. I want to encourage you. We're over here, I'd love to meet with you, love to talk to you, love to see how we can work together, what kind of a blessing we might be to this nation together. My name's Dwayne Miller. I pray that God will bless America, God will bless your family, and I pray that God will make us all proud to be Americans. Thank you very much.